Hello and welcome to Crypto Condensed. This is Champagne Crypto on a Tuesday, September 3rd, 2019. The markets today show on Bitcoin at $10,678, up 3% on the day. Ethereum, 180, up 1%, and XRP, 26 cents, hovering at zero change. V Systems is our top gainer on the top 100 at 12%. Made Save Coin also around 12%, and Rift Token at 8.6%. For our next top 200, our top gainer is Thunder Token at 17%, XMAX 15%, and Cryptarium at 13%. As we go into our news today, Binance acquires crypto asset trading platform Jex. Jex offers um, spot and derivatives trading services and will join Binance ecosystem as Binance Jex and focus on further building the crypto asset der derivatives market, providing Binance users with professional services including futures contracts, options, and other derivative products. Jex is actually based in Seychelles. I looked it up um, prior to this video recording and it is an island east of Africa, east of Tanzania, Kenya right there. Never been there, but I guess it's pretty, pretty nice. Anyways, uh, Jex.com, if you currently go there, excuse this verification. It says Binance Jex, and I guess it's official on their part. So if you like spot trading or margin trading, hop on to Binance Jex. In other big institutional news, um, Bitcoin ETF is set to launch September 5th on OTC Link ATS, a SEC regulated alternative trading system. The shares are first institutional quality cleared product providing exposure to Bitcoin and enabling a standard ETF creation and redemption process. SolidX is a sponsor of the Van Eck and Trust provides marketing systems or marketing services. Um, this is one of the other, this is one of the, um, this is the second, I would say, so the second ETF that's going to launch. Also, BACT is launching with their markets in custody on September 6th, which is this Friday. This launch of BACT Bitcoin daily and monthly, monthly futures um, will also launch on September 23rd, which is end of this month in a few weeks. In Brexit news, Cryptocurrency value surges as the Brexit chaos is continuing. UK just recently announced um, they are planning to leave Europe on the 31st. Okay. Though this date could be possibly delayed, I'm guessing it will be if there is no deal plans intact. Prime Minister Boris Johnson said that he plans to take the UK out of Europe in time from the Brexit deadline with or without a deal. If plans to block a no deal are passed, then Johnson will likely call for a general election before Brexit deadline. As this turmoil continues, we see Bitcoin steadily increasing in price throughout 2019. Check out this article if you have more interest in the Brexit chaos. Amid other worldwide news, Manny Pacquiao launches merchandise backed cryptocurrency. We all know Manny Pacquiao as a boxer, but he is also very big amid his country of Philippines and Manila. This cryptocurrency, dubbed the PAC, is less of a currency and more of a fan marketplace, giving fans to buy merchandise and interact with Pacquiao. Um, Pacquiao is also more than just a boxer. He is a well-known uh, celebrity or a political figure in Philippines, and he understands that the currency of the um, Filipino peso is declining in value. He gets more money paid in U.S. dollars and has to give the their, his people pack, or not pack, his people um, pesos whenever like they ask for um, like donations, and he wants to give back to the community. He cannot. Most of the Filipinos take peso so he wants to have a stabilized currency of his own dubbed the pack so i uh, applaud him on making his own currency and making a uh, cryptocurrency more well known and widely adopted more adoption is occurring as we see big four auditor pwc 
um, accepting cryptocurrency payments in their Luxembourg office. Luxembourg, if you don't know, is in Europe, in between Germany, Belgium, France, Switzerland, Austria, the Netherlands, and of course the UK where all this Brexit is happening. <clears throat> and it's not the first uh, first place that PwC is launching out of. They also already have an uh, office in Hong Kong, which has been going on accepting Bitcoin payments in 2017 for auditing of cryptocurrency payments. This, an this announcement was made on Monday and demonstrates the belief of PwC's Luxembourg's belief in blockchain technology medium to long-term role in the economy. We're just seeing it slowly roll out more and more in other countries, especially in Brexit terms. Well, that's all for me for cryptocurrency news today. Made it quick and short. My Instagram also is Champagne Crypto. Holla, give me a shout out or give me a follow if you can. And uh, that's all for me on a Tuesday today. Hope you have a great day. Enjoy the weather. Get outside. Get some fresh air. Photosynthesis. Whatever you call it. And have a great one. Peace.